I was afraid to talk. I was afraid to use my voice. And I just didn't feel like it mattered. And to be real, there are still some times where I struggle with those thoughts. Like sometimes they be running up on me. Like, remember how no one cares? Remember how that video didn't get any views? Remember how you spent all that time and nobody cared about it? Remember when you messed up that one time? Look, I could go on for days <laughs> with all the things that I told myself. But if you've been following me for a while, there was a retreat that I told y'all about where I was told that if I did not work on my confidence, that if I did not become confident, it was going to stop me from being able to be successful as a business owner. And so the reason why this was so interesting to hear is because up until this point, I have always been the person who could hide the fact that they had low self-esteem. I could always play it off like I wasn't as insecure as I really was because the insecurities was there, but I did a really good job of masking it. And so as I began to really think about what this means, like, okay, well, you telling me I got to get unshy, which at the time it wasn't unshy, but that's what it is now. That's the, that's, that's what we call it now. But at the time I was like, we got to, I got to get unshy. What does that look like? And so the first thing that I had to do is I had to make a list, right? This, and this is directly from God. God told me to make a list of all the things that I have been telling myself that are not true. And so one of the things that was in that list, the first thing on that list is I am not shy. And when I saw it, that on there, it almost felt like I wasn't the one that wrote it. Like, what's wrong with being shy? Why would that even be the first thing that comes out of my mind? And the reason why, there was two reasons why. Okay, so the first reason why is because of the retreat where I was told that my confidence was going to be the thing that kept me from building my business. But the other thing that happened is that I went to a, another event. I, I'm a conference junkie, y'all. <laughs> and so I went to another event. And at this event, the woman asked us, are you shy or are you wounded? And when she said that, that was the first time where I really started to think about, okay, well, what is it with this whole shy thing? You know, what's wrong with that word? What's what's wrong with that association? And so because that was the first thing on my list, I knew that it was major, right? I knew that it was important. And so I looked up the definition of shy. And when I looked it up, the words that describe shy are shameful, someone that's hidden, someone that's timid, right? And when I look at the Bible, it was literally in opposition with the way that we were designed, right? When you look at the scripture where it says, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. If you look at some different versions, they'll it'll say timid or timidity. He did not give us a spirit of timidity. And so as I was thinking about it, I was like, wow. So basically, I've been out here giving myself a whole label that does not have anything to do with the way that God made me. Right. And this is the thing about being shy. Right. Is It really is. The thing about being shy is that we're just afraid. There are things that we're that we are fearful of. So for me, I was afraid of being rejected. I was afraid of people telling me they weren't interested in what I had to say. I'm a recovering people pleaser. All right. It's still it's still there. <laughs> Every now and then it creeps up a little bit more than other days. And I find myself trying to do whatever I have to do to avoid there being confrontation or friction or saying things that people don't like or that people will be offended by or triggered by, right? I spend so much time trying to think about all these other details about everybody else. And so the reason why it was like really bugged me this time around is that I could see why being shy could be a big deal in like personal settings, right? Like if I'm shy, then I'm probably not going to go like and talk to people at a party, which, you know, you can kind of shrug that off. Like you know, I can be here. I don't really got to talk to you. Like that's not something that's a make or break it when it comes to like your life, you know, 
you could make it that you could say that that's the excuse. But when it came to it impacting my ability to like build my business, that's where I was like, well, what is it like? What does that mean? Like, what what am I blocking by by owning this title? And so as I started to, first of all, deny that that was who I was, that's when things really started to like hit the fan, y'all. And I started to realize that I wasn't I wasn't doing the things that really made me happy. I was doing the things that I felt like everybody wanted me to do. I was running this resale business and I was doing fashion design and upcycle fashion. But deep down, I really wanted to do more than that. But everybody had always told me this is what you're supposed to do. This is what you should do. And I just I did it because I was good at it. And everybody told me this is what I was going to do. Everybody would tell me you're going to be this famous fashion designer. I, I was just doing whatever people felt like was right for me. But there was always this part of me deep down that was like, but this this doesn't feel like it's it like this. I feel like there's more to me than this. Right. And so part of getting a shy when it came to that is being able to say, OK, I have skills in other places. I have knowledge and experience in other in other in other areas. And so what does it look like for me to start to talk about those things? What does it look like for me to start to talk more about my life? What does it look like for me to move more like Jada and not just as a fashion designer, not just sharing the business? And what does it look like for me to do something that I didn't necessarily grow up doing or I haven't done for years, but it makes me happy and I'm good at it and it helps people. And so... This is just the beginning, y'all. I'm going to be doing this for 13 days leading up to my birthday. And I really hope that y'all join me on this journey of breaking down the different places and ways that I have been getting none shy. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Ooh. Hi. Hey, Book. Ugh. Ooh, you're warm. You going to say hi? Here, you want to talk in the mic? Don't put it in your mouth. Hi. Just talk in it. Hi. You cut yourself off. Look, you see? Hi. Where, where are you coming back from? School. How was it? Hi. How was it? Good. Good. Oh, okay. Nice. You want to interview me? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to ask me? What's the question you want to ask me? Why are you bad at games? Why am I bad at games? Yeah. Get a little. Bring the mic up to my mouth so I can talk in it. I'm bad at games because. God didn't make me good at games. And how am I good at games? Because God made you good at games. That's just how your brain works. That's all? That's all the questions you got? No. No. What else you got? What do you want to get? It's grass.